produced in Germany between 1933 and 1945 cannot be considered in the same way as the art of other periods. It must be seen as the artistic expression of a barbaric ideology. One can only look at the art of the Third Reich through the lens of Auschwitz. For the National Socialist regime, Culture was a key word. Art was considered one of the most important elements in the creation of the new Reich and of the new man. Its aim was to impose a national socialist philosophy of life. Political aims and artistic expression became one. The Nazis discovered that art could not only carry a political message, but that it was also a perfect tool for manipulating desires and dreams. The purpose of art was to shape people's outlook and to control their behavior. The Nazis were masters at inventing stereotypes and art forms which replaced genuine artistic and personal experience. They removed the individual's desire to question and to probe. a total submission to a state aesthetic. Hitler believed that only the Aryan could produce and appreciate culture. The Aryan's task was to implant new culture in the rest of mankind. This Aryan art was meant to abolish class distinction and bind the nation together with common dreams and shared ideas. The opposite of the shining Aryan was the dark Jew, uncreative, driven only by thoughts of making money. The Jew was the arch enemy of culture, the parasite, devoid of any idealism, the man without cultural roots. Hitler linked Jewishness with modern art. It stood for the big city and decadence, capitalism, internationalism, homosexuality. Bolshevism. <laughs> the function of art, in Hitler's own words, was to create images which represented God's creatures, not miscarriages between man and monkey. Statements like this one illustrate how art, too, was mobilized to decide who had the right to live and who had to die. In true German art, there was no room for the woman represented as a femme fatale, as she-devil or whore. In the eyes of the Nazis, modern art was the betrayal of national values by decadent artists and greedy international art dealers. <laughs>